All right, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about system prompts and some of the neat things that you can do with them. So I'm gonna show you a few examples, um, sort of live examples here within the OpenAI Playground, and then I'll also show you presumably how it's already being incorporated into some products um, that are live out there. So the system prompt, if you're interested in trying this out, um, you can go to platform.openai.com, sign up for an account if you haven't already, and then just go to their playground. Now, depending on what you have access to, um, I've requested access over a month ago for GPT-4, and I do have access for GPT-4 through this. Um, other users, please uh, let me know your experience. Like, do you have GPT-4 within the playground? Um, um, if you haven't uh, directly signed up for it, just sort of curious to see the landscape of who has it or who doesn't when they try and do this. So now the thing with the system message is it's a message that you can instruct the LLM and the system message is weighted a lot higher in GPT-4 than it is in other models like th 3 and 3.5. And the thing with the system message is so you might have seen examples where um, uh, uh, someone might say, you are this type of assistant. So you're an accounting assistant or you're a developer assistant or whatever the field might be. Um, you know, you're a uh, dietitian, you know, like you, you'll provide meal plans when people are asked. So I've seen a lot of instances like that, but the thing with system messages that is pretty cool is you can have it do things um, where you can ask for output back to get more consistent responses. So an example of this is um, asking for responses in JSON. So right now they come back as text, um, uh, as everyone's seen with ChatGPT and whatnot. But if I just say, okay, you are, you are an API. So let's just do a little bit of a thought experiment. So let's say, what if we didn't have backends? Um, sort of a bit of a crazy example, but what if all of a sudden everything that goes into setting up a, a backend, we could just get through an LLM? So what if I said, okay, you're an API, you will always respond in JSON, and the schema of the response will have just one key named response. So I could go a lot more into depth. Maybe there's like specific, um, uh, like a specific schema that I want, or maybe go a bit further and make it specific, like you'll respond JSON with this response key and it will be about this subject and re return it in this format. So now if I go ahead and ask a message and I'll just say something, I won't eat, I won't you know reference anything that I just said, um, but um, just imagine this was in something like ChatGPT where say you just select it, you know, you wanna interact with the JSON endpoint. So if I say, um, what, are the lyrics to the most popular David Bowie song. Let's say hypothetically we have an app where you can just ask it questions um, and see what potentially could come back uh, from it. So um, I'm just going to make sure I have the right model selected. And now this is still in beta. So uh, let's hope that this works. So right here, so we do have the response um, based on the system message. And then we do see the lyrics coming back. Now I'm not gonna validate these, but it does have sort of a response that's similar to what you would expect from something like ChatGPT. But right off the bat, it's it's nice because you can say, okay, now I know I have I can expect it in a particular format. So it doesn't finish because I don't have uh, the length cranked up on here, but you could imagine if it did, it would just uh, sort of close it out here. So just to sort of get you thinking about this on how you could potentially use this. So Forefront 
is a, uh, a company that I came across that has a pretty interesting use of the system messages. And now I don't know the back end of their code or how they're setting this up, but I just sort of assume this is what they're doing. So if you get a really good uh, and detailed system message, and not even just a good one, let's just say like an approximation of one that's you know, within the realm of acceptability, let's say. So if you just say, okay, you are a senior software developer, you have many years of experience, you know, you'll you'll respond with code snippets and whatever it might be, right? So in these examples, what this um, company has done has basically taken some of these uh, mythical characters like from Harry Potter or famous athletes or just sort of general professions like you saw at the top uh, if you're trying to do something within productivity. And one that's sort of neat, I, I think, is about history. You could talk with philosophers of the past uh, or celebrities uh, and sort of get a sense. So the cool thing with how this works in this interface is you can be like, hey, um, Ray Charles, you know, why did you write this song? You know, could you give me a, a little bit of backstory? Or, hey, Oprah, like, what was it like to, you know, have thousands of shows? And, you know, what was your favorite interview? Or stuff like that. Um, so it's pretty neat. Um, you can uh, add them within here, but you can also just uh, select it here. And you, you can see it sort of has a chat GPT like experience here. You can also go down here and you can change the model. So, and the cool thing with this is, this is a free version uh, right now. So um, I'm showing you what is completely for free. You can go and, and look at it yourself, but I sort of wanted to tie this into the system message. So I gave you an example on how you could do it to, you know, play around and maybe push the limits and see, you know, what uh, uh, things you could use it for. Like, you know, maybe you want to use it for a JSON response or you want to have it be a code generator, like only generate uh, HTML files that have inline styling and JavaScript or, or whatever. Like you, there's so many possibilities with what you can do and you can sort of have that behind the scenes. So the thing with system messages is if you think about this system message in the context of this, this is sort of their proprietary information. So how they set up this system message for the senior software developer, um, you could do something similar and you could say if you have a really good prompt, you know, and you're like, I crushed it. This is going to be, you know, like the, the best way if you want responses from someone that is just like a senior developer, um, you can, you can throw it in and sort of do what they did and sort of make a, a, a neat, neat product out of it. So if I just say like, uh, give me react boilerplate. So this video is not really um, meant to be a example wholly on Forefront. Uh, it's a really cool product, uh, as you see here. Um, great that there's a, a free option right now that you can play around with. But I thought when I first saw it, I was like, damn, this is a, a cool implementation of the system message. Probably one of the coolest ones that I've seen yet. So if I just exit out of here, again, you can see like, this is something that can just really scale. You know, you can start to add, you know, maybe instead of four CEOs, you can add, you know, all the CEOs in the S&P 500. And, you know, maybe in future iterations of this have uh, CEOs have conversations with one another or maybe have a round table, you know, have a discussion with multiple, um, uh, you know, CEOs, interpretations of CEOs, I should say. So anyway, I, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, system messages, highly recommend that you uh, take a look at uh, this. It's a really cool thing. Uh, there's some examples out there, but I'd love to see more people sort of pushing the boundaries on how they're implementing this. And I'd love to see what you're building uh, or it, what, what use cases you might think of having something like this behind the scenes and how it could improve how you're using uh, GPT 3.5, GPT 4. So let me know in the comments what you're doing, if you're doing anything uh, interesting or, or, or cool with this. Um, but otherwise, uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next one.